welcome back, Colourful Stars here with another piece of furniture that has been upcycled. I was about to say lovingly upcycled, but this piece took me so long that I don't know. I think that's a bit of a stretch. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you how I got on with this. Hey guys, what's up? I'm working on this piece today. Um, it's a commission for my friend. Check out my previous video to see how much work has already gone into this. Definitely didn't look like this when I started. So check out that video and today I'm going to start removing the handles and sketching out the design so let's get started so here is a rundown of how the piece was looking so i've put all the handles on and you can see where i've filled from the previous handles because they were bigger and um, but other than that it's all been oiled and everything check out the previous video to see how all of that went down and this is what we're starting with so you can see there's a couple of dents that i've had to fill and i'll have to cover them up so this is the design I initially started with, then I went to my client and we elaborated on that um, and it become, became a bit more busy than this, but it'll hopefully be something you will all like. Here I am just removing the handles. Now I'm just giving it a good clean because there was a load of um, sawdust I guess from when I was putting in the handles and stuff like that, so I just cleaned out each drawer. Next I've got my trusty tool that I made, I saw this online, I was just searching for how to make a homemade compass because I wanted to draw a big circle and I didn't want to use the like pin and you know string method so I just got this piece of wood, clamped a little pin at one end and clamped a pencil to the other, I used a watercolour pencil because then you can just rub out your lines with just a wet cloth. So there I am and it actually worked out perfectly but you can see it took me a couple times to get right. Then I'm just sanding wherever I'm going to be painting and now I'm going in with my primer. This is an oil based primer because I wasn't sure what would work with this oil underneath so I thought oil on oil can't go wrong and it worked perfectly. So I used a small brush to do the outline of the circle and then used a roller. You can see I brought the design on the other side there to the right and now I'm using a darker primer to do these sort of stripe like brush stroke type things you'll see at the end. Anyways, I taped it up and I'm using a grey oil based primer here. Now again I'm going in with a two fussy bloke semi smooth roller and I'm putting some colour on. So this is a water-based satin um, from Crown. Most paints used today are Crown. And yeah, I'm just burning it up and then I will use a small brush again to out do the outline of the circle. This takes a long time. Don't let the time lapse fool you. You need a lot of patience for this. I don't have much patience, but I'm able to do this. And then I'm just gonna use a roller again for the center. So to get the drawers perfect I took them off to do right into the like little ridges there you can see and also um, you can see sort of how painstakingly you need to go um, around the outlines of these shapes and this is just the second coat and I'm sorting out all in between the drawers next on the right side I've done a circle and I've masked it out check out my other videos to see how I did this and yeah it turned out perfectly um, and this is the Lacombe color that I've used here on this side and I'll add a grid to that later as you can see here I've changed the color on this bottom stripe a couple of times so here I am going in with a green this doesn't stay spoiler alert but anyway, this is how I did like this sort of brush stroke effect. So I did like these little squares I painted on and then later on I'll go in with some watered down pink to sort of make it less opaque at the tip of it. Here I am changing the color to a lilac because why not? So yeah, here you can see the brush strokes. So I've just gone in with the circle your color, circular, circular color there. It's like a lighter purple and I've watered that down to sort of make the dark purple less opaque in that section. Mapping out where I want this like squiggly design to go. So I've just got primer on a brush and um, I'm 
just trying to map out where I want the squiggle to go. I messed up in a part and I wiped it off and start again. But yeah, so this is going to be um, silver leafed over it. So I put size on, follow the instructions. You need to wait until it's completely sort of dry, like see through, but tacky still. I think you have 24 hours to work with this stuff. And then I'm just applying the silver leaf. As you can see here, it's everywhere. One thing I did do wrong though is that it stuck to some places where it shouldn't and I used a baby wipe to remove it. So I'm definitely not an expert with metal leaf but um, I learned a lot <laughs> in this short space of time but basically I think it probably stuck because um, the paint wasn't completely dry, I had been touching up some areas, some areas so that could have been it um, or else I could have like buffed it properly in, like or maybe the paint, the paint must have been slightly damp. Anyway. It stuck to place where it shouldn't and it was a pain to fix so I recommend being very very careful also being careful about where you put your size obviously and um, you could color your size as well with like a bit of food coloring or a bit of paint I haven't tried the paint thing but I did try the food coloring thing and it wasn't dark enough but anyway um, so yeah I'm just removing the excess leaf it went everywhere Next up, I have you sideways here, so don't get motion sickness, I guess, except you're not moving. I suppose, don't get confused. Anyway, I have you sideways here to show you me peeling off some tape. I drew another circle on this side of the chest of drawers, and then I drew out a grid with a Posca marker, but then I decided the lines weren't thick enough. So then I masked up some lines, I eyeballed all this, I didn't measure the lines and stuff like that, but I usually would. But in this case, um, I just figured my eye would tell me if it looked wrong, and it did. So I primed each stripe and then I used a white eggshell. Next up is the inside of the drawers. So as you can see here, they were still the old varnish colour, so I wanted to stop that. So I prepped them the way I usually would, sand, cleaned, sanded, um, dusted, dusted, and then primed using an oil based primer again. Um, and then I so I did that all before I did this design in the front and now I'm working on these the design on the inside and I've taped up the runners again and I've mixed up my paint so for the drawers I decided to do a gradient so it's from light purple to dark purple so I just got a super dark um, paint and mixed it with white to varying amounts and so the top drawer is going to be light and the bottom one is going to be super dark so yeah that's it i'm doing it with a two fussy lux roller again and it makes things super super quick these purples turned out so so vibrant i really really like it it really adds a lot to the piece and um i hadn't actually thought of painting the drawers so i'm really glad that um, my friend suggested it make sure to tape the fronts of the drawers and the runners before you get started this will just make things way easier when you start painting i have learned that the hard way and make sure you number all of your colors and drawers so here is the final piece coming up, here we go, and you can see all the drawers open, they're so so vibrant, so cool, and um, yeah, I love it. This is the final piece here, um, I did a lot of touch ups, um, especially on that squiggly line because I made a mess of it, but yeah, I've got the handles back on as well, and the silver leaf looks really good. Yeah, I'm just super happy with it, um, it started off as something I was really not enjoying and not liking. But as it went on, I feel like I figured out what wasn't working. And it mainly was the colour on the bottom left. Um, but I'm super happy with it now. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you like and subscribe. And hit me up if you have any questions at all. Mm -hmm.